All right, what's going on everybody? It's Smitty back with another video. Today I'm gonna be showing you all how you can download any custom skin pack and get it working on Minecraft Xbox. Today I'm gonna be showing a YouTuber skin pack that has over 2,000 skins. It's ridiculous how many skins you can really get here. This will work with any Bedrock skin pack. Anybody can see your skins, they work on servers. There is one issue right now on Minecraft Bedrock and that is that once you import the skins, you actually can't open up the skin pack. This will definitely definitely get fixed in the future, but I still thought I'd make this video showing you how to get the skin packs in the first place. But as of right now, you actually can't open the skin pack once you have it imported, but I imagine Mojang will fix this shortly. If you want to get custom mods, worlds, texture packs, even more skins, anything at all, I have tutorial videos on my website down below, smitty058.com. If you have any issues, open up a support ticket in my Discord server, link down below. But without any further ado, let's get into how to get any custom skin pack. So the first step is to search for our skin pack. So I'm going to open up Microsoft Edge on our Xbox, then go to the search bar. And what I'm going to look up for this YouTuber skin pack is just YouTuber skin pack MCPEDL. And MCPEDL is a website that has a bunch of bedrock add-ons, so really useful for us. But go ahead and enter this into the search bar if you want the same skin pack. You'll then see the top search result, the Minecraft YouTubers skin pack on MCPEDL. Go ahead and press on that. Then after you press on that, it'll take you to this page, and you want to scroll all the way down to the bottom to where it says part1.mc pack. And this pack actually has two parts, so if you want even more skins later on, you can come back and download part two, but for this video, we're just going to do part one. So we press on part1.mc pack, that green link. It'll then say you're leaving MCPEDL. That's okay. Press on that green link in the middle of your screen to continue. That will then take you to linkvertise.com. Now to get past linkvertise.com, what you want to do is go down to the middle of your screen to where it says get the pack, this orange button, and you want to press on that orange button. It'll then pretty much take you to this page that says choose and complete. What you want to do is go down to the orange button that says I'm interested, and you're going to press on that I'm interested button. Now after you press on I'm interested, you want to go to where it says learn more, the big orange button right there. After you press on learn more, it'll open up a completely new tab. And what I do is just let this tab load in. So sit at the website for like five to 10 seconds, just let it all load in. But then once it's loaded in, go up to the new tab that was created and press the X to close out of that tab. So after we press on that X, it'll bring us back to our link for ties page. And now what we want to do is scroll down to the middle of the screen again, once it loads in here. And you want to go down to where it says get the pack again, the orange button and we're gonna press on that orange button. This time you'll get this pop-up to appear, it says access options, and you have to wait 10 seconds to get access. So wait 10 seconds, then you'll be able to press right here, get the pack, and you wanna press on get MC pack, and after you press on that, it will now take you to mediafire.com, Perfect. And this is our download page, but we have to copy and paste this URL at the top of your screen into another app to download the mod. So hover over the top URL with your cursor, then press the button with the three lines on it on your controller. Then you want to go over to where it says copy, so you copy that entire URL. Now after you have that entire URL copied, you're good to close out of Microsoft Edge completely. And now we have to download our file manager app, so go to the Microsoft Store, I go right here to where it says browse the store, and just go ahead and open up the Microsoft Shop. So we're going to go to the search feature, and once you're at the search feature, you want to type in My Files Explorer, and it's this purple file manager app, it'll look just like this, My Files Explorer. You want to select that one, and this app will cost you $2.60, but there is also a free trial if you want to get the free trial. Now there is a 100% free app that I have linked on the website that I mentioned down below. So if you want the 100% free app, I have that on my website linked down below. But this My Files Explorer app is a little bit better than that one. If you have the $2.60 to spend, I definitely think it's worth it. But go ahead and either purchase the app or get the free trial, but it should be a very quick install on your Xbox. So give it a minute or two and My Files Files Explorer will install and then you will see it in your recently installed at the top and you want to launch the newly installed app and immediately once you uh, launch My Files Explorer it'll say you may need to install the standalone expansion game add-on for tools and assets that's perfect you want to go to the left side to where it says install from store and we're gonna press on that store option it'll then automatically take you back to the Microsoft Store and this time it'll say expansion for explorers and this is the second file manager that we need so press the green install button for expansion and get that installing onto your device. It'll look exactly the same as 
My Files Explorer, but it will have a different name. So every time you launch, you want to get mods, make sure you are using Expansion for Explorers and not My Files Explorer. So once you have Expansion for Explorers downloaded, go ahead and launch it. Once inside of Expansion for Explorers, go to the top left to where it says download from URL. After doing that, it'll take you to this screen. You want to take your cursor to the top, press A on your controller. After pressing A, press the button with the three lines on it on your controller. Then go down to where it says paste, and we want to press on paste. Then take your cursor, hover over the search bar, and just press A one more time. That'll update the search bar. You'll see your link right there to Mediafire. Then go all the way to the right side to this forward facing arrow and press on that to search. And that will then take you to your Mediafire page. And this time you can press on that blue download button to get your skin pack downloading. You'll see it on the right side of your screen downloading. And once it is complete, it'll automatically take you to this page. Now you'll see Minecraft YouTubers.mc pack. You want to hover over that with your cursor, then press the button with the three lines on it and then go down to where it says copy file and we're going to copy that .mc pack. Then go to the left side of your screen to where it says packages and we're going to press on this packages folder. If you don't have the packages folder, go ahead and reinstall expansion for explorers and then it will show up. Once inside of the packages folder, you'll see all these different folders. We want to find the Microsoft.Minecraft UWP console folder. Now there is a chance that you won't have this folder. If you don't have it, you can just add it in yourself and I have a video link down below. So if you're missing the folder, I have a video link down below that will show you how to add it in, but we need this Microsoft.Minecraft folder. Once you have that folder, go ahead and press on it. Once you are inside of the Microsoft folder, then go to where it says local state, and we're gonna press on that folder, then games, press on the games folder. Then after games, we're gonna go to com.mojang, press on that folder. Once inside of the com.mojang folder, we're gonna go to the skin underscore packs folder. So press on skin underscore packs, and then we are basically inside of our skin packs folder. So find any open white space with your cursor, hover over it, press the button with the three lines on it on your controller, and then go down to where it says paste, and that will then paste in your Minecraft YouTubers.mc pack into the skin packs folder, which is perfect. We are done with that step. And now there is one last thing that we have to do in order to get this skin pack to load into our Minecraft, and that is the reinstall method. Now I will warn you all that by doing this reinstall method, there is a small chance that some of your worlds may become corrupted. It's a really weird issue that happens, and I don't know the exact cause of this. I think if your worlds already have mods on them, the reinstall method might break them, but I'm not entirely sure how it works. I'm sorry about that, but I do need to let you all know there is a risk involved by doing the reinstall method, and it is just kind of random how it works, but it doesn't seem to happen to very many people. But with that being said, regardless, I am working on a way to fix corrupted worlds once and for all. All right, but if you want to continue with the reinstall method, this is the only way to load mods onto your Xbox Minecraft. What you first want to do is go to the home screen of your Xbox, close out of absolutely everything, and what we're going to do is uninstall all the Minecrafts off of your device. So go ahead and hover over Minecraft, go to where it says manage game and apps, and go to where it says uninstall all. You can keep Minecraft preview on your Xbox, but get rid of all the normal Minecrafts. Okay, so to do the reinstall method, close out of all the apps on your Xbox. Absolutely everything is closed and you want to go into the Microsoft Store and you want to search for Spongebob. It's kind of weird, but type in Spongebob into the search bar and you'll see this $8 Minecraft Spongebob add-on. Now don't worry, we aren't going to download, we aren't going to buy it here. All you need to do is press on that Spongebob add-on, then you want to go down to where it says Details, Ratings and Reviews, Official Club, and then finally to Works With. So once you are under the works with screen, you'll see this big Minecraft right here and you want to press on that one. Then you want to install this special version of Minecraft right here. You'll see this green install button and you want to press on that. If it says not available or not sold separate, I have a video link down below if you have that issue. And also if you press on the green install button and it won't work, it just keeps uh, going back to green like you press it like a hundred times over and over and it won't work. I have another video down below on how to fix the reinstall method if that is your issue you can't get it to appear in your queue. But it should work for you. Go ahead and press on that green install button underneath the SpongeBob uh, Special Minecraft, and that will begin downloading the Special Minecraft onto your Xbox right here. And you'll know it's special because it'll be under one gigabyte. It might take a few minutes. It used to take a long time for me. But go ahead and wait for that Special Minecraft to get installed, and you'll now see it in your Manage queue, the most recently installed item, that Minecraft. Then you want to press on it. It'll say Minecraft needs an update, and that's perfect. Go ahead and press on the update button once it says this screen. 
That'll then take a few more minutes. If you have any issues with the reinstall method, a lot of people have issues with this, I can help at my Discord down below, but that will uh, be done installing. Then you look at your recently installed, you'll see two Minecrafts, they will merge together as one, and it will then say Minecraft is ready to start. Press and hold to open, and now you can go to your recently installed, press on that Minecraft version up there, it'll load up like normal. And once that Minecraft is loaded up, go to where it says dressing room on the right side of your screen. So after we press on dressing room, it'll take a little bit to load my xbox is a bit slow go ahead press ok get to this skin pack screen once you're at this screen what you want to do is press the left go over to where it says classic skins and we want to press on classic skins now after you press on classic skins inside of here you will see all of your custom skin packs and yeah so later on once mojang fixes this issue you'll be able to press where it says plus 2000 and you'll be able to see 2000 more skins but like i said right now for some reason mojang has to fix this so you can only activate these dream skins so later on wait a few days I'll probably make an update video when they fix this but yeah it's on Mojang's end not our end so sorry about that one day here you'll be able to get to all of your skins but nevertheless you have your skin pack activated and installed perfect but hopefully this helped you out thank you all so much for watching it's been Smitty have a great rest of your day peace out